remember kids to spend time exploring the world for optional quests and random treasure and El Dorado because screw Oregon you're playing on insane difficulty huh. I'm actually not uh huh Right. Okay, so we can close that. Okay, well let's look in the temple and see what we have. The Palace of El Dorado is a whole little city within a city of buildings. It sprawls across the center of the city. Intuitively, the throne room is located in the largest central building. It's a cavernous room with the most enormous, imposing throne standing at the far wall atop the tall staircase. The walls of the room are adorned with glyphs that tell some sort of chronicle, and the many smaller rooms, which isn't saying much, along the hallway circumventing the throne room are decorated with priceless statues, golden bowls stacked high with precious gems, and ornamented wooden boxes full of jewelry. Eh, take all of the valuables. <laughs> people spread out and collect the many valuable artifacts. Some of your people come across a pedestal with a statue the size of a cat made from pure gold. Just as Gabriella Ybarra lifts it off the pedestal, Anna Vidal sprints across the room and jumps into the air, pushing her out of the way to safety as trapdoors open the floor all the way around the pedestal. Thanks to the watchful eyes of Anna, you managed to loot the palace without anybody getting hurt. Good job, Anna. And study the glyphs. <clears throat> Your scholars set to work reading and interpreting the glyphs, meticulously copying the story into their journals as they go. When they compare their notes and cross-reference the glyphs with what they know about Aztec culture and language and the history of the region, they begin to get an idea of the story told by the intricate murals. It appears the people of El Dorado had a very strong relationship to gold. They used gold not only in their building materials, but also in their food. As far as we can tell, the glyphs tell a story of how the gods became offended that the citizens took the gift of boundless gold for granted and squandered it so. <laughs> the gods cursed the city people of El Dorado began to fall ill, and most of them died. Eventually, they understood what had befallen them, and left the cursed city of gold to live a more humble life. I can certainly think of better uses for such riches. Ha 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 ha! Oh, those wacky primitives. Your expedition splits up, and you begin to explore the ruins of the old temple. Inside one of the larger constructions, you discover an old arena with beautiful collection of weapons and armor, all, of course, coated in gold including an amazingly decorated war spear that must have served some ritual function. Take all of the valuables! A few of your people are waiting for you there, eager for you to come and see something they've discovered. It turns out to be a sacrificial chamber full of holy rest relics of the purest gold. The inscriptions surrounding the entrance appear to speak of wrathful gods and ancient curses. Yeah, yeah, whatever. We've survived that before. Uh seem right to us to take things that were given to natives by their gods, but they've been evaded. Given by pagans to their pagan gods, Isabella. By taking these wretches, at most we risk to offend fragments of primitive imaginations. In fact, one might say it is our right, or even our duty, to claim these unholy sacrifices. Uh, and Teresa doesn't feel good about it. Look at all the gold! Take all the valuables. Oh, no! The exact moment Carlota Mendoza crosses the doorstep of the temple with the first golden goblet, a beam of blood-red light seems to emanate from nowhere and everywhere. The light starkly illuminates the tall statue of a masculine person near the center of a room. Uh-oh. The statue appears to be wearing the skin of a flayed human, with the limp hands dangling from its wrists. Underneath the stolen skin, his body appears to have a golden sheen to it. It's hard to tell, seeing as it's covered in blood. Just then, a booming voice rings out from the statue. Mortals, look upon the form of Shippy Tochek and despair. The voice boils with menace. It simultaneously manages sharp and piercing overtones that drill directly into your cranium and a low rumbling bass that resounds in your stomach and makes you queasy. You have committed a crime to steal from my temple. I demand a great sacrifice and penance. I will claim the life of one of your people. Offer the banner. Offer it a decorated spear from the arena. Eh, yeah, you can have a follower. Here you want, Miguel? He sucks. <laughs> the word shocked is not powerful enough when you describe the look on Miguel's face when you submit his name. No, you can't do this to me! 
A strange red mist bursts forth from Zippy Totek's statue and swallows up Miguel. The man-at-arms coughs and chokes violently and falls to his knees. Blood wells up in his pleading eyes and trickles down his face. Miguel is clutching his throat, grasping for air. Uh-oh. Finally, he manages to stammer out a final curse before collapsing on the stone floor. Well... Vic Zippy Totek's voice sounds, if not pleased, then at least satisfied with the respect you showed through the jester. Your tribute is accepted. Can we go now? <laughs> the gaze of the statue remains upon you and your people as you leave the temple. How bad have we screwed our morale? Everyone's still pretty devoted. Some people are that enthusiastic. Isabella's not doing so good. But, uh, yeah, I like that better than something horrible happening to all of us. So what are we net out of this? One less follower and a couple thousand gold? Kind of a disappointment, really. Still, it was a thing. It was definitely a thing. Uh, let's see. We still need two more mountain cairns. We need to take Sihuatan back to that, and we need to... Okay. And there's five cairns down by the volcano we could go explore if we wanted to. Oh, wow. <laughs> Didn't trust that guy anyway. Shame, though. He's a fairly good hunter. That's a problem with it. We feed Raul to the volcano. One less hunter. Is everyone healthy? Yes, everyone is healthy. Why are we on supplies? We have quite a bit of metal, but I want to save it, so... We should go with this. Free rations. So I need to head north. Well, I'm going to head to the mountain pass, and I'll uh, see you guys there, since this is going to be a pretty uneventful trip, I imagine. But if we get any trouble with the natives, I'll let you know. Okay, we just got done camping. We're outside the city with the place where we were doing the negotiations. And then we'll head over to the other place we were going to do negotiations at. Let's check the market. I would like to buy some food. Ah, oh, crap, I bought medicine. That's not what I meant to do at all. I feel better about 150 rations. Okay, what do you got for me, Mayor Poopenstein? Uh, Tepic Kotan has returned from his diplomatic tour of the Totnak tribes. He welcomes you back to Zalapa with a smile on his face so big it reaches all the way from his left ear to his right. Do I have some great news for you, Death Evan de los Pantalones Glorioso? Although there was a small disagreement with the Sempoala, all the Totnak chiefs agreed to join me against Tenochtitlan. With the combined might of our tribes and the military aid of Tlaxcala, we now pose the most significant threat to their power the Aztecs have ever faced. Did you talk to this person? We have been attacked by people. That conniving old bastard. Did you deal with it? Well, we killed them all. Uh, why would they sabotage us? The chieftain considers this city the con capital of the Totnak people, and he was not open to yielding any of his power. He was nothing but trouble when I came to that city, but thanks to the idol, I was able to exert my influence behind the scenes. And long story short, he was overruled by his elders, and Sempoala has joined our cause without him. He must have caught wind of my plans to negotiate with Tlaxcala and sent his warriors to ruin the meeting before I visited the city. Perhaps he thought that was a striking point of my plans. So what now? We can't strike directly against the Aztec settlement until we're ready for war. In the meantime, you can strike a blow against the enemy by hitting their supply lines. If you attack and raise their farms, they will not be able to withstand a prolonged siege, yet it will not be enough to provoke a full-scale response from them. You want me to kill defenseless peasants? 
These people are far from innocent. That land used to be ours, home to the Totenak people. When the Aztec wanted to expand their influence, they rolled in and took that land by force. I'll pay them a visit. He will take care of the logistics. Okay. Uh, let's go look at our questies. Raise the farms. Where are we raising farms at? I told it to go on my map, but I don't see it anywhere. North of Tenochtitlan. Okay, well, let's go do the clandestine diplomacy that uh, Montezuma wanted us to do. That's Obatian. So, let's go to the east. <gasps> Stuff. More piggies. Kill the piggy, kill the piggy. And metal. Metal is for cannonballs. How much meat did we get? I didn't even see. Gosh darn it. Ah, well, I'm not going to worry about it. Let's follow the road, and then we'll go attack the Totenak people. <laughs> Let's play both sides of this war out as long as we can. Medicine. I don't know if I want to go get it or not. I probably should, since we're okay on food now. Uh, how are we on Tinka Tinka? We have lots of metal. Make six more cannonballs. Or I could make five more spike traps. Let's make more spike traps for the time being. Let's go get this medicine. Whoa! Let's not go get that medicine. God damn, that's far away. Almost at our south of southern port. Open a box. Damn, we have a lot of wood. Oh, I forgot to tell someone to uh, keep working on the new pickaxe. Derp. That's what she should be doing. Can I get that? No, not easily. I forgot to... Mm, I forgot to turn that piggy into rations. Dope! Uh-oh. Oh, it's the slavers. Whatever. Don't want them to know that we know that they know that... I don't know. Someone's getting screwed. Just so long as it's me, I'm not overly concerned. <gasps> Piggies! What happened to all my rations? Did I sell them or something stupid like that? Okay, remember to preserve this evening. Uh, are you still? Yes, you are. And then Tass. Oh, you're done. Herbalism. -y -y -y. Yay! Lots of rations. Nope. Run away from me, piggy. Can't see a damn thing with all these trees. Is this where I want to be? This is where I want to be. Okay. The Toltec Temple is one of several ruined buildings sitting on a large plain. The large flat buildings form a square, along one side of which sits a pyramid of modest size compared to the ones in Tenochtitlan. A group of servants are standing around an ox-drawn cart in front of a tunnel entrance at the base of the pyramid. Kill the servants sneakily. Uh-huh. Good deal. Your troops are grouped in front of the tunnel entrance. Captain de los Pantalones, we don't know how many enemies await us down there. We should enter with our weapon sheath and get an idea of the tactical situation. Then we can try to trick them into splitting up with a promise of free passage for some of them. The rest of our force will be waiting them here and kill them all. <laughs> Jesus, Isabella. Captain, we can't let any of them escape. The wall around the entrance looks weak. 
My suggestion is we go in, use our cannon to blast the supports. That will keep everyone in so we can kill them without worry. Yeah, I'm down with that. Let's... Any chance to use the cannon? I'm <laughs> cool. Aim the falconet directly at the weakest point of the overhang. Leading a group of your people into the old building, you run down a long flight of stairs and then shout for everyone to hit the dirt. Fire! A deafening boom shakes the ground under your feet and your dim surroundings vanish in a cloud of smoke. You hear the stones crumbling behind you. Large blocks of rock fly over your head and pebbles shower your back. Screams of pain ring out from further inside the temple. Attack! I want to take Polwick. Oh, he's already fully equipped. Ha! Huh. Well, that's silly of me then. Uh, let's see. You don't quite have enough to level anybody else up. I kind of want to take another fighter. Wow. Is that why I quit? Oh, that's Enrique. One, two, three. She'll be worth taking. Well, never mind. I guess I didn't need to take her stuff. Oops, no. Screw that dagger. Alvarado! Ah, uh, it doesn't affect his chance to hit, just his, uh, damage. Carlota! Polwick! It's weird. I might be able to finish this tonight. Oh, can I not? Oh, I can't place the cannon. Oh, oh there's a lot of them. I don't get to deploy. Just fight. Okay, well, um. Okay, what do we got? We got. Boy, it's dark in here. And a man at arms warrior. We got some civilians that we don't need to worry about. Oh, wow, there are like three civilians. Yeah. Ooh, what are you hiding back here? Recruit champion. Not no good. Okay. So, where are our open paths? We got here big open area here, and then they could flank us down here. Okay, Carlota, you take center. Lazo, you take over here. Anna, you take here. Enrique. You hang out here, just in case. Set up an interrupt attack, and I should have moved you first. Oh well. Okay, they're doing exactly what I want them to do. Uh huh, uh huh. Coward! Gosh, it's dark in here. Dick. There's the champion. He's blue! Ah, that works nicely, I think. Can I get there? Yes, I can. Oh, that works great. Let's kill this guy first. Get him here. <coughs>
cherries his banner. Oh crap, I don't think I gave her uh, night vision. <sighs> ah, it shouldn't matter this close to them. Uh, okay, um, I need to heal you. Well, I killed the two dangerous ones. <laughs> Not a bad first turn. God, I love scouts. There are people who do it. I don't understand that. Go away, please. Go. I I have people to shoot. I need to leave. Okay. Um, you need to go heal the Anna. Oh, I hope there's no traps over here. That would really suck. Squall Enrique Pollock You're slow. We need to promote you badly. Not really much else to see here. It's gonna be kind of a cleaning up episode. Uh spot traps. Okay. I think we're okay. That's some movement. When I level her up, I can give her sprint. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Yeah, trying to run away. Oh, don't run all the way over. You bastard. You guys suck. was peasants, I feel kind of meh. Ooh, there's a, there's a bug in my water. That's no good. Damn you, bug. Now I need new water. When all the enemies are dispatched, your troops quickly search the bodies and pocket the few trinkets they find. The end of a long rope falls through one of the holes in the ceiling of the temple. Uh-huh. Grab the rope so they can pull you out. Oh, okay. So we made it out of the temple. <laughs> 